Did you know that over 40% of Americans worry about their financial future, especially as they approach their 40s? It's a pivotal time when many are seeking ways to boost income and secure their financial freedom. But here's the surprising part, side hustles aren't just for millennials. In fact, middle-aged individuals are increasingly turning to innovative ways to diversify their income streams. In this guide, we'll uncover nine dynamic side hustles tailored specifically for those in their 40s. From leveraging decades of expertise in digital consulting to tapping into the booming market of urban farming, there's a side hustle suited for every skill set and interest. Whether you're looking to supplement your income, save for retirement, or pursue a passion project, these strategies offer practical insights and proven tactics to help you thrive. Get ready to explore new opportunities, maximize your earning potential, and take steps towards financial independence. Let's dive into the top side hustles for people in their 40s in 2024 and discover how you can unlock the door to a more prosperous future. Chapter 1, Tech Savvy Trendsetters, Digital Consulting. Are you tech savvy and have years of experience in your field? Digital consulting might be your perfect side hustle. Digital consulting is all about helping businesses navigate the online world. It's a growing field with endless opportunities. Start by identifying your niche. Are you great at social media? Or maybe you're a wizard at SEO. Focus on what you know best. According to a report by IBIS World, the digital consulting industry has grown by 8.4% annually over the past five years. That's a big number, and it means there's demand for your skills. One strategy is to build a strong online presence. Create a professional website showcasing your expertise and past successes. LinkedIn is also a powerful tool. Regularly share valuable content and engage with your network. This helps establish you as an authority in your niche. Networking is key. Join online forums and groups related to your field. Websites like Reddit and Quora are great for this. Offer free advice and share your knowledge. This can attract potential clients who see you as a helpful expert. Tools like Trello and Asana can help manage your projects and keep things organized. Time management is crucial in consulting. Set clear boundaries and stick to your schedule. This helps you balance your side hustle with other commitments. Keep learning. The digital world changes fast. Subscribe to industry newsletters and follow thought leaders. Continuous learning keeps you ahead of the curve and adds value to your services. Chapter 2. Passive Profit – Real Estate Crowdfunding Real estate crowdfunding is an exciting way to earn passive income. It's less hands-on than traditional real estate investing. Instead, you pool money with other investors to fund properties. This can yield steady returns without the headaches of property management. Platforms like Fundrise and Realty Mogul are popular choices. They allow you to start with as little as $500. According to Fundrise, investors saw an average annual return of 8.7% in 2022. That's a solid return for a relatively low effort. Diversification is a smart strategy. Spread your investments across different properties and locations. This reduces risk and increases potential returns. Real estate crowdfunding also offers the benefit of liquidity. Unlike traditional real estate, you can sell your shares more easily. It's important to research each platform thoroughly. Look at their track record, fees, and types of properties they invest in. Read reviews and testimonials from other investors. This helps you make informed decisions and avoid scams. Tax benefits are another perk. Many real estate investments offer tax deductions. Consult with a tax advisor to maximize your benefits. This can enhance your overall returns. Chapter 3, Crafting Cash, Handmade Product Sales. If you love crafting, why not turn it into cash? Selling handmade products can be both fun and profitable. Platforms like Etsy and Amazon Handmade make it easy to reach a global audience. Start by identifying what you enjoy making. It could be anything from jewelry to home decor. Focus on quality and uniqueness. Shoppers on these platforms love items that are one of a kind. Building a brand is crucial. Create a catchy shop name and logo. High quality photos of your products are a must. They attract buyers and make your listings stand out. Etsy reports that shops with professional photos see 32% more sales. Pricing your products can be tricky. Factor in the cost of materials, time, and other expenses. Look at what similar items are selling for. This gives you a good benchmark. Don't underprice your work. 
Customers often associate higher prices with better quality. Marketing your shop is essential. Use social media to showcase your creations. Instagram and Pinterest are particularly effective for visual products. Engage with your audience by sharing your creative process and behind-the-scenes stories. Customer service can make or break your business. Respond to inquiries promptly and professionally. Positive reviews boost your shop's visibility and attract more buyers. Aim for a five-star rating by exceeding customer expectations. Shipping is another important aspect. Offer various shipping options and ensure your packaging is secure. This protects your products and ensures they reach customers in perfect condition. Many sellers offer free shipping to attract more buyers. Chapter 4. Knowledge to Wealth – Online Course Creation Turning your expertise into an online course is a brilliant way to generate income. The e-learning market is booming, with a projected growth to $375 billion by 2026, according to Global Market Insights. This means there's a huge demand for knowledge. First, identify a topic you're passionate about and knowledgeable in. Think about what unique insights you can offer. Your experience can be a goldmine of information. Platforms like Udemy and Teachable make it easy to create and sell courses. They provide all the tools you need to get started. A key strategy is to structure your course well. Break it down into bite-sized modules. This makes it easier for students to digest. Use a mix of videos, quizzes, and written materials. Engaging content keeps learners interested. Pricing your course correctly is crucial. Research similar courses to see what they're charging. Offer early bird discounts to attract initial students. According to Udemy, courses priced between $50 and $200 tend to perform best. Marketing is essential. Use your social media channels to promote your course. Share snippets and teasers to build excitement. Email marketing is also effective. Build a mailing list and send regular updates. Feedback is gold. Encourage students to leave reviews and suggestions. This helps you improve your course and boosts its credibility. Positive reviews attract more students. Chapter 5. Gig Economy Gold – Professional Freelancing Professional freelancing is a flexible side hustle that can fit into any schedule. Sites like Upwork and Fiverr are great platforms to start with. They connect you with clients looking for your specific skills. Identify your strengths. Are you great at graphic design, writing, or project management? Focus on what you do best. Create a standout profile that highlights your experience and skills. According to Upwork, freelancers earn a median hourly rate of $28. That's impressive. One strategy is to start with smaller projects. This helps you build a portfolio and gain positive reviews. Once you have a few successful projects under your belt, you can start bidding on higher paying jobs. Networking is vital in freelancing. Join professional groups on LinkedIn and other platforms. Attend virtual events and webinars in your field. Networking can lead to referrals and repeat business. Time management is crucial. Use tools like Toggle or Harvest to track your hours. Set clear deadlines and communicate them to your clients. This helps you manage multiple projects without getting overwhelmed. Pricing can be tricky. Look at what other freelancers in your field are charging. Don't undersell yourself. Clients often associate higher rates with higher quality. As you gain more experience, gradually increase your rates. Chapter 6. Green Thumb Gains – Urban Farming Urban farming is a unique side hustle that's both rewarding and profitable. With more people seeking fresh, local produce, there's a growing market for urban farms. According to Allied Market Research, the global urban farming market is expected to reach $236.4 billion by 2025. Start small. Use your backyard or even a balcony. You can grow herbs, vegetables, or even flowers. Container gardening is an excellent option for limited spaces. Focus on high-demand crops like tomatoes, lettuce, and herbs. One effective strategy is to use vertical gardening. It maximizes space and increases yield. You can grow more plants in a smaller area. Hydroponics is another method to consider. It allows you to grow plants without soil, which can be ideal for urban environments. Selling your produce locally is key. Farmers markets, local grocery stores, and restaurants are great places to start. Build relationships with local chefs who might want fresh ingredients. 
You can also sell directly to consumers through Community Supported Agriculture, CSA, programs. Branding your urban farm is important. Create a name and logo that reflects your mission. Use social media to share your journey and connect with your community. Instagram is particularly effective for sharing photos and stories. Sustainability is a big selling point. Highlight your eco-friendly practices. Use organic methods and avoid chemicals. This attracts health-conscious consumers who are willing to pay a premium for quality produce. Chapter 7. Content Creation King. Niche Blogging and Vlogging. Niche blogging and vlogging can be incredibly lucrative if you find the right audience. The key is to choose a niche you are passionate about. It should be something you can talk about endlessly. According to a survey by Orbit Media, 58% of bloggers who spend more than 6 hours on a post report strong results. First, define your niche. It could be anything from cooking gluten-free meals to travel tips for solo travelers over 40. Once you have a clear focus, it's easier to attract a dedicated audience. Content is king. Create high-quality, engaging content regularly. Consistency is crucial. Use a content calendar to plan and schedule your posts. This keeps you organized and ensures you never run out of ideas. SEO, search engine optimization, is your best friend. Use tools like Google Keyword Planner to find popular search terms in your niche. Incorporate these keywords naturally into your posts. This helps your content rank higher in search engine results. Monetizing your blog or vlog is the next step. Affiliate marketing is a great way to start. Promote products you love and earn a commission on each sale. Platforms like Amazon Associates make this easy. According to Statista, affiliate marketing spending in the US is expected to reach $8.2 billion by 2022. Sponsored content is another option. As your audience grows, brands will pay you to promote their products. Ensure any sponsorship aligns with your niche and audience values. Authenticity is key to maintaining trust. Building an email list is also important. Offer a freebie, like an ebook or a checklist, in exchange for email addresses. Regular newsletters keep your audience engaged and drive traffic to your site. Chapter 8 Smart Money Moves Financial Coaching. Financial coaching is a rewarding side hustle, especially if you have a knack for managing money. With many people looking to improve their financial health, there's a growing demand for financial coaches. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the job outlook for financial advisors is expected to grow by 4% from 2019 to 2029. Start by getting certified. While it's not always required, a certification adds credibility. Programs like the Financial Coach Academy offer comprehensive training. This can help you build a solid foundation and understand the intricacies of financial coaching. Niche down your services. Do you want to help people get out of debt, plan for retirement, or manage investments? Focusing on a specific area makes it easier to market your services and attract clients. Create a strong online presence. A professional website is essential. Include testimonials and success stories to showcase your expertise. Use social media to share tips and engage with potential clients. LinkedIn is particularly useful for connecting with professionals seeking financial advice. Offer free workshops or webinars to attract clients. This gives people a taste of what you offer and establishes you as an authority. Once they see the value in your services, they're more likely to hire you. Pricing your services can be challenging. Start with competitive rates and adjust as you gain experience and testimonials. Offer package deals or subscriptions for long-term coaching. This provides a steady income stream. Staying updated is crucial. Financial markets and laws change frequently. Subscribe to financial news and attend industry seminars. This ensures you provide the most accurate and relevant advice to your clients. Chapter 9. Vintage Ventures – Thrift Flipping Thrift flipping is a fun and profitable way to make extra cash. It's all about finding undervalued items at thrift stores and selling them for a profit. According to ThredUp's 2021 resale report, the second-hand market is expected to reach $77 billion by 2025. Start by visiting local thrift stores, garage sales, and estate sales. Look for unique and high-demand items like vintage clothing, furniture, and collectibles. The key is to develop an eye for valuable pieces. Research is essential. Use apps like eBay and Etsy to check the going rates for similar items. This helps you determine if an item is worth buying and flipping. Pay attention to brand names, condition, and rarity. 
restoring and upcycling items can significantly increase their value. A fresh coat of paint or minor repairs can turn a worn-out piece into a gem. DIY skills come in handy here. There are plenty of online tutorials to help you get started. Photography is crucial when selling online. High-quality, well-lit photos attract buyers. Show multiple angles and any flaws to build trust with potential customers. Clear, honest descriptions also help. Choose the right platform for selling. eBay is great for a wide range of items, while Etsy is perfect for vintage and handmade goods. Facebook Marketplace is another option for local sales. Each platform has its pros and cons, so explore a few to see which works best for you. Pricing your items correctly is key. Consider the original purchase price, the cost of any restorations, and the market value. Don't forget to factor in shipping costs if you're selling online. Competitive pricing attracts more buyers and increases your chances of making a sale.